एवरी वन दश तिलेक आई एम कुंगा एंड यू आर वॉचिंग माई चैनल ट्रूली कुंगा इन दिस ब्लॉग आई एम गोइंग टू डू समथिंग वेरी स्पेशल दैट इज आई एम गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस यू ऑल टू माई रिलीजन बुद्धिज्म सो अलॉन्ग विद ऑल द अदर वीडियोज दैट आई हैव अपलोडेड एंड द वीडियोज दैट आई एम गोइंग टू अपलोड इन द कमिंग डेज आई विल बी अपलोडिंग दिस सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोज वेर आई विल बी giving you all information about the different uh, buddhist practices why those uh, practices are performed by buddhist people in their day to day lives and what are the meanings and importance of those buddhist practices so i myself being a buddhist i may not be knowing everything about buddhism but i will be sharing information about buddhism to you all and i myself will also be learning a lot of things about buddhism through this book called basic buddhist teachings it is written by ani karma sonam palmo edited by tenzin c tashi and it is published by namgyal institute of tibetology devrali gangtok so yes uh i hope that you all will enjoy this video as well as get uh, some information about buddhism today's vlog will be about uh the benefits of some common daily routines and occasional practices in buddhism okay so uh, today i will be uh, talking to you all about uh, how a buddhist altar or a chesham is set up in our buddhist tradition we uh, keep our deities gods and goddesses and uh, different objects in a structure called altar which uh, in our buddhist tradition and in our tibetan language is called chesham so uh, i will be sharing information about how the chesham or an altar where deities and objects are placed how it should be arranged and what is the importance of uh, the different things related to chesham so do watch the video till the end guys and i hope you you guys will enjoy this video so in buddhism chesham is an altar or a structure where we keep objects such as statues of deities to which we make our offering and it can be as simple as a statue of a buddha which symbolizes the body of the buddha and uh, we can also keep a scripture uh we call it peja in tibetan pustakai we can keep a scripture which symbolizes the speech of the buddha and we can also keep a stupa which symbolizes the mind of the buddha so we can keep these objects in the chesham or the altar so yes the statue of the buddha should be kept in the center uh, the scripture should be kept to its right and the uh, small stupa should be kept to its left just like we have our uh, head of the family the father in the center the mother to its right and the children to its left yes though all the three objects uh, the statue of the buddha the scripture and the small stupa all three are important in their own ways but why buddha statue is kept in the middle why the scripture is kept to its right and why the small stupa is, is kept to its left is because uh, it is done because buddha statue is the first most important the second most important is uh, the scripture and the third most important is uh, the small stupa that is why the arrangement uh, should be like that similarly we can also put uh, the statue of buddha shakyamuni at the center chere sik to the right and guru rinpoche statue to the left we can also keep uh, the statues of any deity of our own choice such as that of tara and of the long life buddha or we can also keep the picture of our root lama uh, in the altar now comes the question why uh, three objects are kept in the chesham or the altar it is because the three objects uh, symbolize 
the body, speech and mind of the Buddha. Or they also symbolize the three objects of refuge or protection, Buddha, Dharma and Sangha. We can decorate our altar or our chesham in a grand way with beautiful things like flowers, offering bowls with different offerings, butter lamps, thangkas which are paintings and we can also keep the pictures of our lamas, gurus, deities and others. Yes guys, so if we have enough space in our homes, then we can make one single room, a dedicated shrine room. But if we don't have enough space, then we can make just a portion of that room, a single portion of that room, a shrine and keep our objects of offerings there. Students who live in faraway places, who share rooms with their uh, friends, can make just a portion of their text a shrine and then they can keep the picture of uh, Lord Buddha or they can keep uh, a picture of any deity or any other Lama. And the last but the most important thing is that we have to keep our chesham, we have to keep our altar neat and clean because we humans we like to live in a clean and neat place. Similarly, if we keep our altar, our chesham neat and clean, then we will get a lot of merit. We will earn a lot of merit because in our chesham, in our altar, we keep uh, symbolic objects, uh, very respected uh, objects of offering. Hence, it is very important that we keep our chesham and our altar very neat and clean to get uh, merit to earn merit for your own benefit as well as for the benefit of the entire world so yes guys with this i have come to the end of this vlog i hope you guys have uh, got uh, even a small information through this vlog of mine regarding uh, chesham and altar uh, in buddhism and yes do comment your feedback in the comment uh, and if you like this vlog, do give a like, do comment, do share, do subscribe to my channel, do hit the notification bell. And yes, I will come with another vlog related to Buddhism very soon. Till then, uh, take care of yourselves and yes, uh, be kind, be humble, be yourself and see you guys very soon.